<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video here, we're going to be going back to the Xbox 360, a console we know and love here even at the beginning of 2024, and I'm going to be showing you all how you can transfer game saves and really re-sign them to your profile on the Xbox 360. Now this is through a process of re-signing game saves and essentially this is needed to be done because unlike older systems such as let's say the original Xbox or PlayStation 2 where you can just use your game saves and transfer them easily, here these are all tied to different profiles. So for example here I'm going to sign out and I've done this as an example. Any game saves that I have on the Mario profile for example are not going to work on my newly created re-signed profile profile, which is expected on systems such as this. But in order to get saves transferred between profiles, we have to go through a process of re-signing them to the profile we desire. So I'm going to be showing you all a couple ways of doing that here. One of them is going to be if you just want to transfer between profiles on the system itself. Another one is going to be if you are wanting to use downloaded saves. So it's not too difficult to do, but you are going to need a few things. First of all, you will need a Xbox 360, and thankfully it does not need to be modified. I am using a modified Xbox 360, but you can use a stock one as well. You're also going to need a USB drive. You're going to need your profile that you want to re-sign everything to on your console. In this case, mine is going to be called Resigned. And finally, we're also going to need a computer because we're going to be doing this all using a software called Horizon. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and get started on this process. So first of all, you will need a USB drive and I've just plugged mine in right here. Once you have a USB drive plugged into your console, let's go ahead and get it set up. You can do this by going over to your system settings, go over to your storage, wait for this to load in, and it should bring up your USB drive. Now right here, mine has already been formatted for the Xbox 360, but in case it is not in your case, keep in mind this is going to wipe any data from the drive itself. So plug it into a computer, back up any data you care about, and then plug it back into the console so you are okay with destroying that data. Once you have everything backed up and you're okay with this, you can highlight the USB drive, tap the Y option, and then go to format. Say yes, and it's now going to format it on the console itself. It might take a little bit of time, but after a few seconds, you should have a freshly formatted USB drive, which is exactly what we're looking for. At this point here, you're now going to need the profiles transferred over as well as your saves. So in this case here, if you are going to be transferring it over to a profile, you need to go over to wherever your profile is stored. I know mine is on my SSD, so I'm going to go over to profiles. I'm going to grab the re-signed profile because my goal is I'm going to transfer some saves over to the re-signed profile here. And here you will have to move it. Don't worry, we can always move it back, but we're just going to temporarily move this to the USB drive. And there we go. Now you're also going to need your saves on hand. So for this here, I have one save I want to get from the console itself. I'm going to come over to my games and apps, and I know exactly what game I'm looking for. It's going to be this game right here, The Darkness. This is what I'm wanting to transfer over. So if we come over here, now as you can see right here, I do have a save that is signed to the Mario profile, and I want to transfer this to the re-signed profile. So if you want to transfer saves from one profile to another on the same console, you're going to need both the source and destination profiles on that same USB drive. So for that here, make sure you are signed into the source profile. As you can see, mine is Mario and it's signed in. Then come over to the save and you can copy it out to the USB drive. Once it has been copied out because we need that other profile, we can go back over to profiles and temporarily we're going to move this. So I'm going to move this here from my SSD over to my USB drive. And there we go. Once that is all done, we should check out our USB drive, and I have my save file for the darkness, which is signed to Mario, and I also have my two profiles here for Mario and for Resigned. So with that all done, we can now just turn off the console, 
and we can unplug our USB drive and go over to the computer. Over at the computer, the link for Horizon will be down below in the description, but it is going to be from Wiimod. You can go ahead and check out everything here, and there's a whole lot of really awesome features with this, but in all my years of working with Xbox 360, like software stuff here in regards to game saves, profiles, and all that, I've just always liked Horizon the best. So with this, go ahead and download it, save it somewhere you can easily find it, and then go ahead, open it, and go through the installation process. Thankfully, it's a pretty small program, and it doesn't take up all too much. And once that's all done, you should have a nice shortcut right here. So I can go ahead, close out of this, get rid of the setup, and now we're going to open up Horizon. Now it should look something like this, and you need to plug in your USB drive. And when you plug it in, it should automatically show up. And you should have a few things here. You can check out the gamer profiles, and you should have the profiles that you have in place. This here, the Mario one, like I said, is my source profile, and Resigned is going to be the destination profile. Now for our games, we can open this up. As you can see, I have the darkness right here, and I have my save game for Mario. So for this, let's go ahead and transfer from one profile to another. In this case here, if you're going to be doing this, you're going to grab your save, right click, and say extract file. It will usually look something like this. Your saves are going to look different depending on the game and such here, but this is how the darkness looks. Go ahead and save it to a folder you can easily find. Click on save, and as you can see, it has exported. Now once that's exported, I'm just going to expand this out a little bit here to make it a little bit easier to see. And at this point, you're going to want to grab your destination profile. So like I said, this save is signed to Mario, but I want to sign it over to Resigned. So grab your profile, Go ahead, drag and drop it here, and you should see this information on screen, which you just want to keep on hand. Now go ahead, find the folder that you've saved that exported save to. As you can see, this is it. Drag and drop it right here, and it should show up like this. Now there's a few pieces of information that we need to transfer over, and it should be easy enough. Go ahead, go to your destination profile, double click the profile ID, right click and copy it out. Go to your save, right click and paste it and you should notice that the profile ID will change. At this point here, you can also do the same with the device ID, although that is optional, but you can still do it just for good practice, and console ID. And once those have been saved, you can now click on save, rehash, and resign. You should get this message saying it's okay. And at this point, now come up to save to device and click on USB storage device. It's going to ask if you want to save changes before transferring, say yes and it should now be transferred over. So we can now click OK, close out of our save, close out of our profile, and check this out. If you look at the USB drive, we now have the exact same save that's now been set to the re-signed profile, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Now the next step is going to be, what if you download a random game save online? How do you re-sign that? Well, go ahead, download it, and if it comes in an archive like this, you can go ahead, right click, and extract it using something such as 7-Zip, which I'll have linked down below in the description if you need to install it. I'll just go ahead and extract it here. In this example, it gives us a Resident Evil 0 folder, and inside of this folder, we have the title ID, and we have a data0.bin file. And this save, when I downloaded it, is a mostly complete save, so this is what I'm wanting on here. For this, we can go ahead and minimize this, open up Horizon, and on our USB drive, we're going to do the exact same thing. Go over to Gamer Profiles, and this time around, I actually want it on the Mario profile. So we can go ahead, drag and drop our profile out here. We're going to get all the information. Now open up that folder that you've extracted your save file to. Just grab this data0.bin, or whatever the file is going to be, drag and drop it into Horizon. Minimize that. It's going to be the exact same process. We're going to copy and paste the profile ID, the device ID, as well as the console ID. And once those have all been transferred over, we can click Save, Rehash, and Resign. Hit OK. Save to device, USB storage, say yes, and it's now been transferred over. Let's go ahead, close out of that, close out of that. And as you can see in games, we now have Resident Evil 0 signed to the Mario profile. So this here is a save that was not mine at all. It was not originally on my console, and it was one that I downloaded online from another source. So once that's all been completed, at this point, we can now exit out of Horizon. Go back over to your computer, right-click your USB drive, and hit eject. 
and then transfer your drive back over to your 360 and boot it up. Once you have your drive plugged back in, go back over to storage. You can go to your USB drive, come over to profiles, and you can get these moved back over. So I'm going to move over my Mario profile back to the internal drive, and I'm going to move the re-signed profile back over to the internal drive as well. Now, if we come back here, go to games and apps, check this out. We have a couple right here. So we have the Resident Evil Zero HD Remaster, and it is signed to the Mario profile. And the good news is, if it is not showing up as corrupted and it's showing up something like this, then you've done this all successfully. Same thing with the darkness. I have the original save, and I have the new save that I've re-signed to that re-signed profile. So let's go ahead and get these transferred over. For this, I'm just going to go ahead and move this. So I do need to sign into each profile. We're going to do Mario. That's fine. And let's go ahead and get this moved. I already have a save on here, so I'm just going to say yes to that. And once that's done, you can do the exact same thing with the darkness. Go ahead and move that back over. Yep, that's fine. Although technically that one was copied, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to have to do the exact same thing with resigned. So I can sign out, sign into the resigned profile. And we can just do the exact same thing here. Move that over. And we're all done. So at that point, we are all good. Our USB drive is clear and everything is back on our internal storage. Now, just to show this working, I am going to unplug my USB drive, which as you can see, it is showing that now. Uh, let's go ahead and navigate over to Resident Evil because that's the one I'm going to show. Resident Evil Zero. There we go. And I'm signed into the Mario profile here. So let's go ahead, boot it up. And let's wait a bit to get to the main screen. So Resident Evil Zero boots up, press any button. We're going to load up the internal drive. Hit OK, hit OK. And it was able to load successfully. So if I go to load game, let's give this a shot here. And as you can see, check this out. We have Billy and we have Wesker. So these are the two saves that end up coming with that single save that we were able to pull. But I can go ahead, load this up, load successful, and it seems to be working so far. Let's, uh, let's try once again, why not? Oh, and check this out. We already got an achievement right there. So even though it says Billy, you do start off here as Rebecca, but you can verify that this is a pretty good save I downloaded because if I bring up the menu here or just the items and such, Check this out, we have a handgun with unlimited ammo, and we have a rocket launcher with unlimited ammo as well. So we're able to equip this. Now admittedly, it's been a while since I've played Resident Evil Zero, but I can hit A, and boom, there we go. It is working, so we have a nice rocket launcher. That is a wonderful start to the game. We can start off with the rocket launcher with infinite ammo with a save that we were able to download online. So it just works a little something like that. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. Hopefully it was able to help you all out. Hopefully you all enjoyed it and hopefully you can have some fun with transferring saves between profiles and even having some fun with grabbing some saves online and giving them a spin on your own console. With all that being said, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too.